All right, guys. Uh, you can tell right there by looking at my radio. It is almost 7.30 at night. And we're headed out on a no heat call. It's some little condo cottages here in uh, Lafayette. And she said she called 10 other companies. And she said she means literally 10 others besides me. And all of them told her no, it would be in the morning. And uh, I couldn't go out in the morning because I'm installing a furnace first thing for people that have no heat from the clip y'all saw earlier. And um, plus, I mean, I'm not gonna leave people with no heat. Uh, it's, it's one of her tenants, so me going out at 7.30 at night uh, doesn't bother me at all. And it probably just picked me up a huge account because, well, she told me, you know, they have a lot of these little cottages that they rent out. And she told me, she goes, you, you know, you are our guy now because like she said, she, said she literally called 10 other companies. So it's the little things like that that'll pick you up an account. And uh, I think I know where these places are. And she says she believes they're all electric, which I'm sure they are. Uh, they're probably all in little closets. If it's the cottages I'm thinking of, they, they could have attics. Um, there are some cottages here that have the air handler in the attic. I don't know if, if it's those or if it's some different ones, but I'm pretty sure that these are the ones that I'm thinking of. But anyway, we'll, we'll see if hopefully we can get y'all some footage when we get there. Man, look at this crap for service. Water heater, air handler. This is a, uh, this is a, like an ADP or an Armstrong Aries allied unit. I went ahead and brought a couple sequencers up here with me more than likely that's going to be the issue look they got one in the middle right here it's only got one breaker so and it's a 60 so more than likely we got a 10 kw heat strip here past code at new construction get some light on the subject yep I see one 10 kW sequencer right there all right so we have a jumper between red and W and we have 5 kW worth of heat but not 10 and it just can't keep up because it's so cold with this cold weather that we're having. So, uh, now we'll check that sequencer right there. That's more than likely that's going to be our issue. Okay, so it was not the sequencer. I pulled the heat kit out. And you can see right there that the heat kit is broken right here let's see yep there it is it broke right there right where my thumb is that's why we're only getting 5kw okay we're back the next day with a new heat kit we're going to get it installed. Supply houses were closed yesterday. But that still wouldn't have helped anything. Okay, sorry about that. We had a phone call come in. So we have a new heater kit for this unit. Y'all saw the one last night was burnt. I think I got that on film. 
If not, I'll put pictures in here. I can't remember if I got it on film or not. I killed the breaker downstairs that was labeled heat, but I'm gonna double check it with the meter. We have no power. We'll go from each leg to ground. Nothing. And nothing. Okay, so should be safe to work on. This lug here is rusted out to hell, so I might have to. Yeah, I bet you I'm gonna have to cut that wire and restrip it. <clears throat> yep, that's exactly what we're gonna have to do. That's a bummer. Okay. Those of you that didn't see it, or if I if I didn't get it on camera, you can see the break right here. It is broken. So we have a new heat kit right here. Get that open. identical to me. It's a little different. Instead of having a sequencer, this one has the DC relays. Oh, I hope it fits. Yeah, it fits. Thank God. Airflow pointing the right way. You can tell that this is for their new equipment also. But it, it'll work in here. There we go. So, I'll get you guys a shot here as soon as I get it lined up. Because you can tell this is not the exact replacement heat kit. It's, it's made for their new units, but it will work. So, what I'm talking about is, you can see you got four screws, four screw holes, and then two up here. But the other one didn't have screw holes. It just slips into this lip. But it'll still work. So I'll put the two screws in. Mount the breaker. Plug it in. And uh, restrip that wire. Then we'll test it. Alright, so I want to point this out. That is some compound that I have put. Because the wire is aluminum. That's what I've used right there. It's for aluminum wire. Anytime you have aluminum, it's very important that you put that on there. So now, put my light back. I'll prop you guys up. And we'll hook up this voltage. We're gonna hook up this high voltage to this breaker and we will be done. Why is there insulation everywhere in this right here? 
What are you talking about? Yeah, I noticed that. I'm not sure. Go ahead and put the thermostat on heat. Got it? Oh, okay. Yep, and then go and then kick that breaker on. I'm connecting some low voltage wires that I left disconnected last night, guys. Reconnecting, I should say. Then I have a patch I'll show you on the bottom of the unit that I have to fix. But we're gonna go ahead and kick the heat on. I tell you what, man, these low voltage wires are stretched so tight in this unit. I've never seen anything like it. it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. All right. All right. Let's hook up the meter and make sure. KW worth the heat, baby. I can smell them, too. This is what I was talking about. You see where they cut these holes in the plenum and they ended up not using them? Well, they did one under here that I guess they decided not to fix. Yeah, and there's a ton of air coming out of there. So I've got to fix that. And I'm going to check the backside to make sure that those are okay. 9 amps. The new heat kit works.